we send and receive huge volumes of data each day. Yet, it is hard to be 100% sure of who you are interacting with online. Making digital scams known as phishing more prevalent than ever and leading to millions of people being defrauded each year. Many problems surrounding digital trust can be addressed by decentralized identifiers known as DIDs. So what are DIDs? DIDs are a bit like email addresses because they can identify any entity in a digital way. However, unlike email addresses, you can check that a DID relates to an entity such as a company by resolving it. DIDs are controlled by cryptographic keys, which are more secure than passwords. And DIDs may be written to trusted lists or registries to enable organizations to vouch for the trustworthiness of particular DIDs. This is what a checked DID looks like. The checked DID is comprised of three distinct parts. A, the checked DID method, B, the specific network, otherwise known as namespace, and C, a globally unique identifier. An important thing to note with DIDs is if a DID is for a legal entity, it may be stored on a blockchain. However, if a DID is for an individual, it should never be stored on a blockchain. DIDs for individuals should be secret identifiers held off-chain for secure communication. These are commonly referred to as peer DIDs. So, why are DIDs powerful? Well, you can use a DID to sign data securely. For example, here we have an example of an Amazon order refund confirmation. On its own, this is not trustworthy. However, if you signed this data with a DID and enabled third parties to verify it, you could trust the authenticity of the sender and confirm that the data itself is legitimate. In this case, by resolving the DID that signs the data, we can see that this belongs to Amazon PLC. DIDs have the power to make digital interactions trustworthy, secure, and stress-free. So get started today with Checked.